Roman life. The Romans did not really invent many things to advance their civilization. They took what had already been invented and developed and further. The Roman way of life became well known as Romanitas. Everything that had to do with being a citizen of the empire. It was not just an empire, it was a system. A single market and a union of different lands, sharing a developed way of life. The power of the people. The Greeks created democracy, and the Romans took it further. Democracy meant government by patricians. The ruling class, although plebeians, had often influence, uh, had some influence in elections. Slaves, mostly non-Romans, had no power at all. Roman democracy worked well for a time, but in the end it was misused. It was replaced by the rule of an emperor. The Senate. The Senate was ruled by an elected Senate, a group of patricians who selected two consuls each year to act as presidents. These presidents were advised by the Senate. Later, Roman soldiers gained greater power than ordinary people, and consuls became military dictators. After the death of Augustus, Rome was ruled by a succession of emperors who held absolute power. Urban life. The largest cities in the empire were Rome, Alexandria, and Antioch, with over 100,000 inhabitants in each. Other Roman cities had 10 to 50,000 inhabitants. Each city was carefully laid out with its official buildings and public squares, baths, stadiums, markets, workshops, storehouses, as well as living quarters for each social class. The Romans were superb builders. They built roads across the countryside and walls around towns for protection. People went to the public baths to wash, relax, and meet friends. There were temples dedicated to gods and goddesses. Businesses done in the forum, especially uh, the city's marketplace. The countryside. As Roman life developed, farms were bought and reorganized by rich city dwellers or awarded to soldiers as estates. Tenants, peasants, and slaves did the work, growing produce for sale in the cities. Large quantities of food and materials were transported from the farms to Rome and other cities. In addition, the legions required feeding, so the country estates were prepared for large-scale and profitable food production. Wealthy Romans lived in large townhouses. They also had grand villas in the country. Some villas were run as large farms. The owner of his family could enjoy a comfortable house and garden, with a heating system to keep him warm in the winter. Many large farms used slave labor to grow highly profitable crops of grain or olives, or to raise sheep and goats for milk, meat, and hide. Everyday life. Life in Rome was in many ways similar to city life today. High-rise houses, traffic problems, shopping, waste disposal, hustle and bustle were all common features. Rome was also a meeting place for people from all over the empire, and people communicated in common languages, Latin and Greek. It was a money economy, and a very complex society with several classes, belief systems, and several different religions.